Welcome to the channel. So I hope everyone's well out there. In this week's vlog, I'm going to be talking a lot about this camera here, the DJI Action 4, which I just picked up and I'm absolutely loving. So most of the footage that you'll see is all from that camera and also the audio, but do check out the low light as well. And so I think the, the end of it on Sunday where I go, it's quite dark. Um, and I've got to admit the low light capabilities of the DJI Action 4 are pretty good actually. Also about the Tim, ah, sorry about the Tim, but that's not the Tim, that's the Olympus about the Olympus 5. Quick chat about the Tim 5 as well and why I'm not going down there. But also this one here, so I tested this bad boy out. This is the Nike Ultra Fly um, Trail, which I absolutely love. It's a price issue and I'll talk about all that later. I think that's in my Friday segment, but first impressions have been great. I've tracked in about 56 kilometers already in that shoe and I'm really loving it. It is an eight mil drop, so it's very, very different from Ultra, but it's spacious, great lockdown, comfortable, fun, energetic. Um, so, so far, all very good. All right, obviously kicking off on Monday um, and enjoy. Apologies for the lack of, uh, I guess, the vlog style videos over the last two weeks. All good, just not really too much report. Running's been fine, about 60K each week. Loads of good bike rides, went down to Somerset, smashed my legs to pieces on some heavy hills for about a two and a half hour weighted bike ride, gravel bike ride. Oh, gotta admit, I think I underestimated these hills, especially with this probably 10 kilo pack on so it's been quite an adventurous little journey down so far different story um but uh, all in all things are okay um sort of bought the Timp 5s and almost thrown the Timp 5s away i don't know if you've seen my review on the Timp 5 it started off nearly perfect but just ended up causing me blisters and issues and actually a real disappointment so if, you're, if your feet are slightly wide i would avoid the Timp 5 because i had blisters and all sorts uh, which actually led me on to finding an old pair of Olympus down in the Isle of Wight in a cupboard, Olympus 4s that I tried on, which actually led me on to buying a new pair of Olympus 5s that have just arrived at home. So, new camera. So this is the DJI Action 4. I did a bit of research, actually quite a lot of research into getting a new camera because my GoPro 9 was just, I don't know, just wasn't really on point. Um, the DJI Action 2 that I had, just too many issues. So I purchased the new Action 4 and so far I'm really pleased. See what you think on the uh, visual, visuals and audio and everything. Right now I'm actually using the, the DJI mic which attaches nicely to it, which is great. But as a camera, I'm very, very impressed with the quality. So I took it down to the Isle of Wight last couple of days. As you saw, uh, beautiful scenery. Well, no, actually not that beautiful, but nice scenery, um, but a nice little camera. So very pleased to test this out. But the most important thing, it's just, it's just very easy to use the magnetic system. I'll do, if you, want to, if you want to know more about it, there's millions of reviews, but if you want to know more about it, ping a message below and I can let you know. But for a running perspective, for a runner's perspective, it's just so simple because it's easy to detach, move around, clip on, battery life, quality, sound, and the internal sound of the mic actually is really, really good too. So you don't have to have one of these fancy mics like this, but uh, it always helps. And actually I got the combo pack, which comes with three batteries and a very long, selfie stick. So I actually also looked at the Insta360 Ace Pro. I didn't like that, it's a bit too gimmicky, but uh, I think the main reason why I got the, the G Action 4 was also because of the large, larger, let's say, sensor. No action camera works well in low light, but I could definitely see there's a big difference between the, well, especially the 9, but the GoPro 12 and the Action 4, the low light capabilities were far superior in the Action 4. So it just helps because obviously when you're out in the morning or the evening and you're filming, it just looks very grainy and a bit crap when, the, uh, when it's very, very low light. But uh, anyway, won't bore you all with that because it's not really a tech review. It's just a little vlog thing. Now I'm by the river again. Right. <laughs> Hey, 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 so Tuesday morning, out about 45 minutes into a nice trail run in the Ultra Olympus 5s. First impressions, extremely comfortable. I've had to retie the lace a few times because actually, ironically, there's more room. There's more room than I expected. Um, so just had to get the laces cinched down. Also, might go with a slightly thicker pair of socks just for the next, just until I get that sorted out. Apart from that, I feel really nice. Very similar to the four, lovely Vibra Mega Grip, uh, nice 33 mil midsole, up is softer, comfortable, but still got the good protection. So 
yeah, long gone as the Temp 5. Just can't do that one. So, anyway, it was worth a shot. So, quite pleased to be in the old Olympus. But the plan today, 90 minutes trails, maybe a little bit longer, uh, with a little bit of a little bit of intervals or some sort of strides towards the end. But just ticking along nicely. Alrighty, it's now Wednesday morning. I'm just going to get into the garage um, and do a whole load of sort of calisthenic stuff, uh, burpees, press ups, pull ups. We'll chuck in the, some running on the treadmill as well, but more high intensity stuff. Maybe sort of just do a um, 60 second burst, maybe uphill, but just a whole load of different stuff. Yesterday was very easy. 60 minutes on the trails, followed by about a sort of 30, 40 minute walk. Um, and then hopefully later on this afternoon, if the weather clears up, I'm going to try and get out for a sneaky little run too. But that's the plan for Wednesday. Um, excuse the gigantic mic. I have not charged up my other little microphone thing. So I've got this thing here. So it looks, maybe it looks like a little like a presenter, which I quite like. Anywho, all good. That's it. Wednesday morning. Yeah, done. All right. Okay, so unfortunately they couldn't last pretty and white and clean for too long, <clears throat> but actually it's a good thing. So as soon as I got out, I just wanted to get the muddy so I didn't have to worry about getting dirty. But anywho, the shoe itself, so about 45 minutes into it, and as, as I thought, it's plenty wide enough. And that was one thing that attracted me to the shoe was the accommodation foot, box, uh, foot uh, toe box, sorry. So <clears throat> nice and wide. Super comfortable straight out of the box. No issue at all with any lockdown. Foot in, cinch down, laces nice. Tied them once and I'm off. Uh, the midsole, again, it's got that Zoom X midsole on there, which is nice and bouncy, but nothing too crazy. It's not like the road shoe. So you still get some nice firm ground feel back from the ground and feel back from the ground and just, <coughs> Yeah, it doesn't feel ridiculously weird or odd. You're not bouncing around, but it does give you a nice energy return. And as does that plate, that, that carbon plate, kick you up nicely on the hill. So, so far, it's a, it's a really interesting shoe. And I'm actually really glad that I bought them because they're very different from the Ultras. The only thing, obviously, I've got to keep an eye on is that eight mil drop. If that does cause any issue, with the knee or hip, I will take a note of that immediately and reassess. But I think on trails, when you're going up and down hills in mud and stuff, the drop isn't as profound as when you're on the road. But anyway, so far, I've got to say, really good. So it's a nice Friday run. Also, blue skies, sun's out, everything's good. Right, catch you in a second. But the funny thing is, is actually they don't feel really like an eight mil drop. They kind of remind me of this Gama, which is a four mil drop. It just seems quite low to the ground. And plus, because it's got such a wide platform, the base, the width is so good, you've got good stability. So it just, it feels much lower to the ground than eight mil. Maybe it's not eight mil, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the uh, drop. But anyway, I'll keep an eye on that. If there's any issues with the knee or the hips or anything from that eight mil drop, I will probably have to stop it. But uh, anyway, as I said before, I think the trail should be fine. Okay, run done. 70 minutes, predominantly on trails, but I finished this last bit on the road here, back to my daughter's school where I've just dropped her off. And actually, it's on road, it feels great. That energy return from that Zoom X, but it just doesn't feel too unnatural like the other road shoes do with the Zoom X in. You still have stability, you still have ground feel. So yeah, very, very, very impressed with the first run. Really, really glad I bit the bullet on, on these. That said, they're not cheap. You know, they really are not cheap. And just, it's, it's sort of, you do have to, that's why it took such a long time to make my decision for these ones here. About four or five months, because they're £229, which is a hell of a lot of money, but I've got a feeling I'm going to like them, I'm going to use them a lot, and they're going to really fit into my rotation uh, in my ultra mix-up. So, yes, all, uh, all good. Oh, and drainage. They drain nicely. So I went right through... I went through some big, big, big puddles, which actually gives them a bit of a clean, but uh, they seem to dry out pretty quickly, which is nice. But as you can see here, the room is there's loads of room in the toe box my feet aren't cramped in super comfortable great lockdown first impressions perfect nice and wide 
Um, there's definitely some sort of weird irony with the whole Nike uh, Ultra thing, because Ultras just seem to be getting narrower and narrower, and Nike getting wider and wider, especially the trail lineup. I've always been a fan, and it's a nice juxtaposition to have the Ultra and the Nike working alongside each other. Right, that's it. Saturday, just finished off just a full body workout, all load of calisthenics, pull ups, dips, press ups, core stuff. Uh, just 35 minutes, it's just the afternoon. This morning I went out for 45 or 50 minutes, let's say, I think it was, on the trails in the um, Nike Ultra Flies, which I like a lot, very good. So, Saturday, done. <laughs> Okay, Sunday morning, finishing off the week with probably about easy 75 minutes trails to get to about 75 kilometers for the week. It's pretty chilly, it's pretty frosty as you can see. I haven't actually got my selfie stick, so I'm just holding the, uh, the DJI camera. Hopefully the image and sound is okay, but it's early, it's not much light. So again, it's a perfect test for the old low light capabilities of this uh, camera. But nice and uh, boggy. Oh, and in the Ultra Mont Blancs, not Ultra Mont Blancs, in the Ultra Lone Peaks, I basically just, again, craved a little bit of the old zero drop after eating the next couple of days. Talk about that later. It's cold. Right, and there we have it. So that's it. So there we have 75 kilometers of the week. Great training in the gym pretty much every day or every other day, just but, but short sessions. Having great loads of fun with the the Nike line up there, which I absolutely love. Really enjoying the Olympus, although the lockdown, I just a little bit of hill slippage there. Sizing with Ultra just all over the place, which gets which frustrates me, but that's gonna be another video. And as I said earlier, really, really super impressed with the DJI Action 4, the quality of the sound, the visuals, everything, ease of use, the magnetic system. And if you want me to talk about it further, please leave comments below. I can help you out with any other questions you might have. But other than that, there we have it. Thanks as always for watching. Hope it helps, hope it's entertaining, hope it was any sort of snippets of information or advice or inspiration to get out there. But uh, all in all, it's been a really good week. All good, right, that's it. See you soon, take care, bye.